Okay, a uh, friend of mine uh, actually let me know about this website. I wasn't even aware that this that Steve, the false prophet Anderson, um, I wasn't even aware that he had this thing. And uh, it's called the Repentance Blacklist. Look at that. Openly denouncing those who are adding works to salvation. Uh, repentance, biblical repentance is not works. Okay, repentance is Bible doctrine. It's all through the Bible. Jesus said, I'm not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. I mean, what does that mean? You know, but it, it says here, beware. Chick, Chick Tracks seem to have a different answer than the Bible to the question, what must I do to be saved? Okay, and I'm going to talk about this in a sermon coming up here. But, uh, you know, surrendering your life to Christ, that's Lordship Salvation. No, that's called Biblical Salvation. All right, and he quotes Acts chapter 16, verse 30 through 31, and it talks about here this guy coming, they tell him to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, now shall be saved. But here's the problem what condition was this man in when he came to them to be saved? He was in a repentant state. But look at this, let's go down through here, uh, and we'll talk more about this in a different sermon. But uh, he gets into these lies here. Written articles to teach the truth. And he talks about uh, Jack Hiles here and Dr. Curtis Hudson. Hmm. Audio sermons. Dr. Curtis Hudson. Again, I'm going to show you the hypocrisy here. But, uh, well known, here's the blacklist. Is this the kind of thing a Christian would do? Is this the kind of thing that a Bible believing pastor would put together, spend his time putting together a blacklist? And look at look at the people on the thing. The Fellowship Track League, Chick Publications, Bearing Precious Seed, huh? Local Church Bible Publishers. Excuse me, Local Church Bible Publishers is on a blacklist. Wow. And go down through here. William Grady is on the blacklist. You know, David Cloud. I don't agree with him in everything, but why is he on a blacklist? This is weird. Here's a good one. How about Charles Spurgeon? How about Lester Roloff? Some of the greatest men of the faith. Some of the greatest heroes of the faith. You know, Oliver B. Green. You know, uh, on the blacklist. Other mis miscellaneous no-name repentance preachers. You know. And he goes down through here, names all these people. Is this something that a Bible believer would put together? You know? And by the way, Steve Anderson, if you're watching this, could you please add my name there? Because I'm one of the, uh, you know, I guess I'd be a no-name repentance preacher. I preach repentance. So could you please include me here? And uh, Jesus Christ preached repentance too. He said, I don't believe that. Okay. Let's just type in repent. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mark 1.15, Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Well, that sounds like two different things. Repent and believe the gospel. See? See what's going on here? Uh, so, you know, really there, Steve Anderson, you should add Jesus Christ to this list. You know, maybe he'd be a no-name. Oh, maybe he'd be a well-known offender. <laughs> is this is this what a, a Bible believing pastor would put together? Isn't this incredible? Look at that. And, and then look at this. Please let us know of any other independent fundamental Baptist preachers or organizations who are preaching this repentance salvation heresy. Uh repentance salvation heresy. Let me show you another one. This is a good one that these no repentance heretics cannot handle. Uh, Acts 2620, but showed first unto them of Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coasts of Judea and then to the Gentiles that they should repent and turn to God and do works works meet for repentance. Hmm. Kind of interesting there, isn't it? But let's, uh, let's type in repentance here. You say, well, repentance just comes right along with faith. How about this one? 
Acts chapter 20, verse 21, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, if you don't come to God as a sinner, you can't be saved. It is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. It's amazing. There is no salvation without repentance. You're reading it right there. Repentance on, toward God, comma, and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Come to God as a sinner. Deny your self-righteousness. You cannot save yourself. You need to turn from your own self-righteousness. Turn from your sin in terms of thinking that your sin is not a problem. I didn't say you had to clean up your life. I didn't say you had to be sinless before you could be saved. I didn't say that. I said your attitude has to be different about your sin. And your greatest sin is the sin of self-righteousness. That's why most people go to hell. But you see it there, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. So, you know, Paul, I guess, was on the thing there, too. Maybe you ought to report repentanceblacklist.com. Look at this. This is Catholic. This is this is some kind of weird, occultic, I don't know what. This is This is creepy. But it says here, if you would like to have a name... Remove from the blacklist, use the following address, and send evidence that they are not preaching repentance salvation. What right does he have to police those who preach differently than him? To make a list. See, th this is scary stuff here. A man making a list of preachers that, don't, that preach repentance, that preach differently than him. But let me just show you here. Here you have Dr. Curtis Hudson salvation. Dr. Curtis Hutchin, another gospel which is not another. Well, let's let's uh, see something interesting here about old uh, good godly Dr. Curtis Hudson. Here we have the uh, New King James Version translators. And you go down here to the uh, North American Overview Committee. And let's see, where is it? right here. Look at there. Dr. Curtis Hudson was part of the new King James Version. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? And you say, what's the significance of that? Listen to this from Steve Anderson. And so I can guarantee you one thing. John Nelson Darby's burning in hell right now. Because the Bible says this in Revelation 22, verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. The Bible's clear that when an unsaved man, a false prophet, a false teacher when they begin to remove from and add to God's word, their fate is sealed. The Bible says they will be damned. Their part is removed from the book of life and from the holy city. All the plagues of the book of Revelation are added unto them. And so anyone who tampers with the word of God loses their opportunity to ever get saved. Okay. Well then, uh, how do you explain um, putting a man that was involved with the New King James Version as one of your good men, you know, good good preachers here that preach the real true gospel. And, and I mean, look at this sermon here that this little heretic preached. Why tracts are worthless? Huh? Isn't that amazing? Just incredible. But uh, let me show you something else here that's very very interesting extremely interesting not copyrighted copyright the repentance blacklist huh but look at this template created by Darth Exterus okay that sounds real spiritual let's follow the link here oh, Pit Droid Productions has moved Pit Droid Productions Kind of like the all-seeing eye. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. 
So we go over to here. Go to members. Who's a developer? Steven. Let's click on Steven. Who is Steven? Who's the developer of Steve Anderson's website? Well, let's go down here a little ways. Let's see if I can find this one photo here. Oh. Elder Stromberg? Huh? Elder Stromberg. Hmm. Almost looks like he's a Mormon. Isn't that interesting? And uh, you say, well, maybe he's not really a, a Mormon. Well, let's just show you something else here. Okay, I'm trying to find where the thing... Oh, um, it says here today, I just noticed that this site still says that it is in blah, blah, blah. I just thought I'd point out that it will be leaving said beta mode as I will be moving all activity over to my new site located at this one. So let's go up here, put it there, takes us to this channel right here. Welcome to GyozaGuy.com. You get down here and lo and behold, he's playing a pipe organ. And there's some major issues there, some things I want to bring out in the future on that. But he's playing a pipe, pipe organ at Brigham Young University. Huh? So in other words, Steve Anderson has a website. See if I can get back to it here. Has a website that's created. The template is created by a Mormon. Isn't that kind of strange? A website that puts on a list men of God that preach repentance, the true gospel of repentance, and encourages you to send in names of others that have done this horrible thing of preaching repentance, including local church Bible publishers? <laughs> yeah. Isn't this amazing? And you want me to believe that this man is a saved man? and that he's a good man. I mean, we're talking about a very, very dark individual here. And you say, well, what about this thing of making a database of dissenters? Well, it's also kind of interesting because Steve Anderson has appeared on the Alex Jones program. And Alex Jones, there are some links there that point to him basically making databases of his listeners. Stratford, the Stratford connection with Alex Jones. Hmm. Do you reckon these guys actually could be wolves in sheep's clothing? This one especially? Why tracks are worthless? Uh, do you think the Lord's behind this? You better be careful of this lying false prophet. This guy is very, very dangerous. <laughs>